Hi, you guys. Hi, ladies. I, uh, I'm glad I'm here. I'm a little upset. I had a very kind of weird thing just happen to me. I was just getting some Starbucks coffee about an hour ago in Hollywood before I came over here, and this woman just kept staring at me. She just kept staring, and then, you guys, she starts to yell in the middle of Starbucks at me. <gasps> oh, oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God, I can't believe you're here! I love you! You are my favorite television star from the 70s! You guys, this woman thought I was Lindsay Wagner, the bionic woman. <laughs> Ma'am, if I were Lindsay Wagner, I'd be 75 years old! Oh, Lindsay, you look great. I love your mattress commercials. <laughs> you don't look a day over 60, so I ch ch chibonically slapped the hell out of her and poured my latte on top of her. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so upset. Let me stand in some more flattering light. <laughs> I'm not bashing the Bionic Woman. I, I loved her, actually. She was my, my role model growing up. And I loved her because she was a real woman on TV. She wasn't like one of these anorexic Hollywood bitches like Nicole Richie. Do you guys hate her as much as I do? Yeah. yeah. You guys, Nicole Richie has lost so much weight, her eyes look fat. I just want to tie her skinny ass down to a chair and shove Marie Calendar Pies down her throat. I'm just jealous I'll never be that thin, you guys, because I like to shove my anger down every night with a salt lick and a pound of lard. <laughs> Love that chocolate and baked lays at 4 o'clock in the morning, right, ladies? But, uh, no, Lindsay was awesome because she was statuesque, she had big thighs, she had a camel toe, she was the hottest thing on TV. <laughs> Woo! All right, yeah!